What's really important to know about what they're doing is what they give you with one hand, they take away with the other. They're raising taxes, again, on millions of middle-class families, hoping that the American people won't figure it out because they're going to race this through. How do you judge this? If you own a home or want to one day, you lose. If you, want, if you have a sick child or a family member with long-term medical care needs, they take away the medical deduction, you lose. If you, want to have st if you have student loans or want to have student loans or use the credit for lifetime learning, there's a credit for lifetime learning, you lose. Uh, if your family lives in a state, any state, uh, and don't want your income taxed twice, you lose. And if you plan to living past 65 and need Medicare, you lose. One thing is crystal clear. This plan is a tax burden that ought to be on the backs of the wealthy and the biggest corporations, but instead it drops it squarely on the backs of the middle class. You're a big corporation, you're a wealthy individual, you do great. You're a middle class person, you suffer. We see what our Republican colleagues are doing. The bill comes out Thursday, they want to start marking it up Monday. A bill of enormous complexity that affects millions of people in so many different ways. That's a disgrace. To rush a bill like this through without a hearing, without scores, without experts looking at it, all the businesses want to look at it. Everybody wants to look at it. They're trying to rush it through. Why? They're ashamed of this bill. The Republicans know the more this bill is exposed out there, the less people like it. 